Hi, welcome back to Zach of All Trades. I'm Zach, and today I'm going to start the process of converting Trick of the Truck from a truck to a full featured adventure mobile for a family of four on a budget. Now let me just set the parameters real quick so you know what I'm talking about when I say an adventure mobile. I want a vehicle that's perpetually packed so that on a Friday afternoon when the opportunity strikes to go camping, we can throw in the perishables, we can throw in our clothes and get gone. That way we don't spend half a day trying to find the tent and trying to find, you know, all the stuff that you do, at least we do, when it's time to go camping. I've had a lot of envy over the last months watching people convert these sprinter vans into their adventure vans and everybody talking about having an adventure van for that purpose so you can just get in and go. The last thing I need at this particular point in my life is another vehicle to handle registration and tires and maintenance and a parking spot and, and, and all that other business. So why not take what I've already got and convert it? So that's what I'm going to do. Before I get started, I want to establish just exactly what you need from a camper like this. Well, you need a place to sleep, a place to cook, a place to sit, and a place to eat out of the rain. Because somewhere, you're going to show up and it's going to be doing that. You also need to have a good way to store all your stuff. Utensils and spatulas and cookware to skid paper and canned food so that it's not all rolling around in the back of the rig. Those are the things that I'm going to attempt to do in this truck and like I said this is on a budget so I'm going to try to keep this to a couple of hundred bucks or less. We'll see how it turns out. The first and probably most important thing to come up with on this project is the shell which I procured for a total of zero dollars on the free section of Craigslist. Partially because as I found out when I looked at the top of it, this thing was made for an 85 F-150. So there it is from the side. The profile isn't quite perfect as the truck cab is a little bit taller than the shell, but I'm not bothered by that in the least. The next thing I bought was two sheets of 5 8 plywood and two sheets of 3 8 plywood, as well as two tubes of liquid nails which with my military discount all total came out to 92.85. I think that's enough about the supplies don't you? Now it's time to go ahead and build some stuff. It's starting to get dark, so I think this is going to be about it for this particular episode. But at least you can kind of see where I'm going with this. I want you to know right at this point, I don't intend for this to be a long, drawn-out series. I'm hoping to get this done in two, maybe three videos. We've got a camping trip coming up in, uh, well, a week, so I'm hoping to have it done by then. One of the things that I want you guys to be thinking about... And I want some suggestions. I think I have an idea, but I want your suggestions anyhow. What I'm going to be able to do, what I want to be able to do, is pull this out so that it overhangs. And I'm sorry, that's a little bit off camera. But I want it to overhang about 40 inches off of my tailgate 
so that I have a lot of working space here. I also want it to be unsupported down here. I don't want to have any legs to trip over or anything like that. I also don't feel like I need any chains going from this corner up to the top. I don't really feel like that would make it real secure. So. Like I said, I think I have an idea how to do this, but I'd be interested to hear your input. Give me your best ideas, and um, yeah, I think that's gonna be about it. I'm gonna be working on this thing a whole bunch this week, cause like I said, we got a camping trip coming up. So yeah, hopefully I'll be filming on the next episode tomorrow. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. Will you please give it the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video? Give it the thumbs down by all means if you didn't enjoy the video, and leave me a comment. Tell me why you liked it, tell me why you didn't like it, and let me know what you think about how do I support this thing uh, the cleanest way possible. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Take care.